you guys so hello welcome to Pliss Invade we're gonna be starting the doubles bracket very soon So we're going to be having Nokrug, uh, Grimu, and talk up Juicy Pinch on stream for doubles. Just uh, just look look where it's plugged in. I guess there must be controls somewhere. Probably. So, sad guys. Do you hear me? Okay, so sad guys, uh, and uh, welcome to uh, Please Invade uh, our well, uh, Quebec City's monthly, and uh, we're gonna start with doubles already. As uh, we're gonna get Nakuro and Krimu against uh, Talcup and Juicy Pinch. I'm gonna expect uh, all players to play their actual main, which are uh, Lucas and uh, Kirby for uh, Nakuro and Grimu, and uh, uh, DK and Rob for Talcup and Juicy Pinch. And uh, singles are gonna start around, uh, I'm pretty sure, 3 p.m. But uh, we're gonna see uh, how it goes as we're gonna try finishing uh, doubles as soon as possible uh, to make sure we get uh, well, we are able to uh, perform the uh, regional uh, crew battle at the end uh, of the event, which we're gonna have uh, a whole Montreal crew with pretty much all of their top five PR with our uh, uh, against uh, the many Quebec teams, the Trois the Trois crew, and I don't know if there's a Sher Sherbrooke crew, but there might be. So, yeah, we're in for a really nice event today uh, with uh, great players uh, such as uh, Supergirl Kills. Uh, Venom is going to be here only for doubles. And uh, Z, Mr. Gumi, and Fwed too. So, we're in for one L uh, of an event today. Yeah, so. The first uh, setup of the day, which is uh, Nakira and Grimo against Stockham and Juspinch, is going to be quite interesting as uh, they're both some of our uh, mid to high level players in the region. And uh, Talka being a good DK, which uh, finished second in our Arcadian uh, this season, losing only to Curly Joe, the, uh, our Toon Link main in the uh, Toon Link DK matchup. But we have Nakira, who uh, I don't know if he's. No, he's not PR'd this season, but he was PR'd last season the Lucas players, which are uh, him and Grimu did manage to pull out some upsets at uh, Smash Ultim, I believe. So, all players making their tags. Uh, tournament's starting a bit slow, but we'll hope uh, everything's run well with our great team of TOs, with uh, Strombird on the uh, on the streaming setup, and uh, uh, having uh, Dieter, Genoma, Kips, and Tatra doing a great job, as usual. The 
didn't just start SO, Kells didn't even play on stream yet. And uh, we haven't even had a set on stream uh, uh, yet, so this is our first double set. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're getting uh, doubles a bit later today, trying to uh, uh, make everything start as soon as possible. And uh, uh, as I said, this is the first set of the day. And I'm, I believe that only top 8 or top 5 is going to be uh, uh, best of 5 in uh, doubles and uh, I I don't know how it's going to be but uh, I think that maybe up to top 32 is going to be uh, uh, best of 5. So yeah, just get the confirmation. Uh, uh, doubles best of five uh, is gonna start at top uh, on the top five, and uh, singles best of five is gonna be top 32, which is great for an, an event that doesn't have that much people in it. But uh, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have uh, some good uh, some some good smash for today, as usual. And now players on stream waiting for uh, uh, everything to be ready to start their sets. I hope we're gonna see a, a great day with, uh, if possible, some upsets, as those are always quite fun to, uh, to see. And let's hope that we're not gonna see too many as these or jank today. see uh, well for the first set pretty interesting uh, uh, teams with our characters that we don't usually see in doubles with the uh, uh, the current meta of doubles uh, using lots of bayonets and clouds or even top, just top tier characters such as uh, a Sheik which is pretty good in doubles and other uh, well with Pikachu and other IT uh, IT such as Ness or Mennonite but we're starting okay so this is a button check streamer waiting for uh, uh, they're gonna wait for the streamers queue. So this is a button check, yeah, uh, on Duck Hunt. So, uh, one map that uh, used to be legal, a map that I loved, but didn't, uh, didn't favor every character. And uh, yeah, so, I can't wait to see uh, what combos we're gonna see uh, from the, both of these teams, because I feel like uh, DK and uh, Rob could manage to get some pretty interesting stuff because I feel like they could juggle with some some moves such as back air nair from DK or nair and fair from uh, uh, Rob. But they're gonna have to be extremely careful because their team uh, being really heavy and uh, having uh, being both characters that need well need to do a lot to manage to land on the ground uh, might have some difficulties later. But uh, as they're playing against two characters that uh, aren't the best jugglers in the game, I guess. We might see uh, them manage to pretty well. As both teams are pretty much around the same level of play. Just about uh, being, uh, some good players. And I believe that it is uh, Talcops and Juicy Pinch first time teaming. But no and Grimo are a static team. So we might see a bit more synergy on their team. But I believe that. Uh, Blue team can definitely pull it off. Uh, let's not talk about the maps as uh, I don't know if really anything favors any teams as uh, at least we know that uh, blue team's gonna want to get most of their stock from the top such as 
red team too actually getting uh, going for uh, uh, Turbine's main kill moves are is uh, down air to uh, uh, down smash it up and his uh, up throw which can run it up. Same with uh, Lucas that loves to go for the dead bombs aka the uh, down throw to up air which is a great follow uh, well a great setup that kills pretty early on s most directors which is going to be uh, uh, one of their ways to kill and uh, the up throw for Lucas even though he has a uh, Great uh, ways to kill from the side, it's, uh, which are his uh, back throw and maybe fair too, uh, which has quite interesting knock knockback when he gets, uh, when he manages to uh, hit the sweet spot. So we're starting uh, the set now, I believe. Okay, so first set of the day, guys, and uh, let's see how this starts. As we're already having DK charging the DK punch uh, behind uh, Rob, so I feel like Rob's gonna be the front line this one, which is not something we see quite often. Right now, Blue Team with an, uh, an impressive uh, uh, start of this game. Breaking a lot of damage on both characters, but we still have to mention that they're both really heavy, so they're used to having uh, a lot of rage. But they're gonna have to be able to uh, still be stuck before Red Team. As uh, as I mentioned earlier, Red Team has quite a good amount of uh, uh, kill power. But uh, right now, DK at such high percent. Oh, and this could be big if he gets a grab. So as I said earlier, uh, uh, red team, e uh, well, blue team, even though they're uh, 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 they're back in the uh, uh, first sense, they still have great ways to kill. Oh, and uh, Kirimu attempting to get the uh, uh, back throw to uh, I mean back throw to uh, uh, up air, and uh, nice attempt by Talcup. Going for the edge guard, but Nokiro answering right back, uh, right back, uh, punishing the uh, second grab. Uh, well, uh, DK re grabbing the ledge. So, red team trying to extend their advantage as most as possible, already having uh, uh, DK and his second stack at 25%. Oh, but <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, Nokiro just goes into a uh, uh, Grimu's down smash, but. Uh, Juicy Pitch managing to uh, even up this game, but Grimou gets the down air to down, uh, down smash. He's gonna seal uh, 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 Rob's stock. And let's see, Grimou already wrecking some good damage. DK at higher percent than anyone in this uh, in this game. And oh, Grimou actually uh, getting a uh, 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 Juicy Pitch just power up. And he's gonna try wrecking some good damage, going for the after up air. Uh, to Nakura, uh, which is gonna rack up some good damage, and Blue Team is slowly getting away with this game. Uh, both players on Blue Team at really high percents, both at uh, pretty close to percent. Even the Rubs gonna need a bit, a bit much, uh, well, a bit more to kill. And then right as I say, so he gets back aired by Kirby, which is gonna sell his stock. And Red Team wanting to uh, run away this game as fast as possible. Kirby gonna go for the back throw, knowing that uh, his partner was not in position to. Uh, uh, Punish while well, pretty much follow up anything. And Grimo right now doing a good job at uh, keeping uh, Talk up at the ledge. And as usual, right as I say so, he gets the uh, uh, Talk up, gets back on stage. And Talk up leaving up to 171. And I feel like Kirby's at Ding Dong. Oh, he was not. And Nokura just saying, Hell no, you're not getting this. Uh, you're not giving the Dong to Kirby. And as I said earlier, uh, Red, Red Team doing a great job at going away with this game. And this could be big damage on the DK. Oh, Nakara with the uh, uh, Futsal setup, oh, uh, not only getting the uh, uh, down air last hit, which is the only one that locks. But yeah, Red Team just playing real efficiently and doing a great job uh, at uh, sealing those stocks. As I said earlier, as both characters on the uh, blue team are quite heavy. But uh, yeah, so Kirby on his last stock, but both members of the blue team in the last set. It's still doable for them as they've, as I said earlier, they've got really good kill power, but they're gonna have to uh, uh, work really well uh, around the uh, uh, team stocks. As, as, uh, as uh, Nikola still has another stock and just jumps out of uh, the big boot knowing that it's not even a 50-50% right now. Oh, Nakura tried to go for it, but didn't get these, uh, uh, the spike hitbox, and now Talkup's gonna need to do mar miracles, but Nakura and Grimu getting the back throw up air set up is gonna seal the first game, uh, well, uh, first get in their favor in this old tournament. Okay, 
so I don't expect any character switch uh, by now. All players are playing well, their mains, and uh, they're already. Uh, all I'm gonna expect is maybe a map change, as blue team did manage to live quite long, well, quite a lot of, uh, for a long time, sorry. But uh, yeah, so let's see where we're gonna go. Alright, how's it going, Alex? Uh, fine. Uh, fine. here, I'm gonna be joining Alex on commentary. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this is, well, interesting things, but we're going back to the Interesting. But yeah, uh, both interesting things, both, uh, well, all characters that we don't usually see in doubles. Uh, Nakura and, uh, and Grimupe uh, playing the Lucas and Kirby Camp, which is both characters that are Can quite rare in this yeah. meta. But yeah, they did manage to uh, claw uh, game one uh, yeah. using uh, Blue Team's weakness being their pretty much huge targets. Yeah, that is true. Like, for, for this team, it's kind of easier to combo uh, yeah. blue team because like since they're so big they're just so easy to combo yeah. their combo with blue, yeah. team. blue team needs to get early kills in this one because yeah. they're gonna get lots of damage racked on like them. so far they're doing a pretty good job yeah. just sandwiching them yeah the, the start is way better than last games and we have to mention that uh, blue team did manage to get really early kills uh, not blue team red team did manage to get really early kills that game uh getting uh punishes and re-grabs at the ledge by Nekula actually spiking uh, uh Falca. And other early kills like that, such as the back throw to a bear follow up that they get doing. Right, nice, nice pair from uh, Dalka. No, but I feel like okay. So that that's that's a trade, but I feel like uh, Juicy Finch did not the this properly. Oh, try and go for the. Uh, yeah, the he, he, tried the up, yeah. he tried to go for the, the, the grounded uh, cargo. Ooh, yeah. That been scary, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice then by by Gimu nearly getting the spike, but uh, uh, Dalka using the armor yeah. and the uh, upbeat. Dalka is covering smartly. He doesn't want to get down in by. Yeah. by I mean, he's doing a great job at not getting a uh, uh, combo. Okay, so... But, uh, he just lost his talk, actually. Interestingly, the lightest director in this whole game is the one who uh, stuck tanking. Well... Do you mean Kirby is the lightest character? Well, in, in this uh, Yeah, in, 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 in this match already. Not, not in the old game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, like... Match. Kirby, Kirby is kind of small, so he's hard to hit. So yeah, I, for sure. I can, I can understand if they... Then focus a bit more to... Because last game Lucas was the one stuck tanking it. But uh, right now, uh, pretty yeah. good lead for uh, Red Team. Yeah, you can you can see uh, Grimu's playing pretty safe, just yeah. using safe pokes. <laughs> and almost trains, died there. And yeah. almost died, but still alive. Kirby at 136. Oh, yes, Rad, this is, this is the end. Yeah, this <laughs> okay, so Blue Team still with quite a good lead uh, because of uh, Grimu still. Well, Red Team, sorry. Uh, they, still, they still brought the stocks back though, so yeah, for sure. if, they, if they can manage to, to, stank, to yeah. stock tank a bit and rack up the damage. Right now, Red Team has Blue Team uh, well, pretty much cornered <laughs> pretty, uh, well, pretty well. Nice spike attempt by Nakura. Yeah. Juicy oh. Pinch. Oh, he didn't oh, have enough, enough yeah. gas. So. And Jinmu tried to get the F smash on uh, DK's recovery. Oh, but he gets a down smash, just nine. Yeah. Okay, so Red Team trying to extend, uh, is now going to try to extend their lead as much as possible. Blue team needs to get those kills as fast as possible. Yeah, oh, he tried to get the nair. If they let uh, red team uh, make the lead uh, better, Ooh, nice, nice down yeah. the, uh, from the talk up. So I actually feel like Kirby's at think percent if he, if he managed to get it. Probably. But Kimu just racking up damage on uh, this right. DK. And. Nakura doing an unsafe there, getting punished by the down smash. Oh, uh, oh and uh, uh, Nakura managing to, uh, well, going for nair right off the platform uh, to make sure uh, uh, Kimu doesn't lose the stock. Early. Okay, so uh, blue team having a lot of difficulty right now at getting out of those uh, uh, those cornering situations. Yeah, but it's not that bad because like both both characters on red team are pretty much at kill percent. So yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, Lucas is probably at kill percent. That much rage. Yeah. Oh, oh but yeah. Juicy Pinch loses a stock. Fortunate for So Blue this team. is going to be a huge uphill battle for uh, Dalka if he manages to get it. Pretty much same position as last game. Oh, yeah, but he gets a spike and that's it. Yeah. So nice job by Red Team getting a, a win on our first set of, uh, of uh, Please Invade Double Dragon. Yeah. And as I mentioned earlier, Nokuro and Grimu being a... Uh, a uh, static team against uh, a team that I believe is the first time they uh, they think together. 
Uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, so right now we're gonna see... Uh, Two static things. Yeah, Weezy Fox versus Ho, uh, with Ho. Against... Jinima uh, uh, Kips and uh, Emi Senpai, yeah. yeah. So we're, I feel like we're gonna see the... Uh, uh, Mario and Doc Mario against the... Uh, Most likely. I feel like it's gonna be Diddy and... Lucina, but I, he might go for Diddy. Yeah, Diddy Lucina or Diddy Sheik. I, I'm not yeah. quite sure because I don't know how much their Diddy yeah. Sheik team is practicing. Yeah, I, I believe that the Lucina might just be better in doubles because <laughs> I feel like they might lack kill power with the uh, Diddy Sheik. Uh, yeah, uh, that setup. is true. And I mean, both both characters are more frontliners than backliners, so yeah. roles are still really important in this uh, in the uh, doubles meta. Yeah, y you need you need to make sure that. You know what your teammate is going for, okay, so what you're going for, and what you, you can go for together. So, so yeah, so they're going for the Duck and the uh, the Mario and Duck team. An interesting team as uh, Whis Fox with the Mario usually is going uh, is, go is going to be the uh, front line, but both characters can manage to combo off each other really well. Yeah. As uh, we uh, they usually go for setups such as back throw and F throw to uh, Duck Sphere, which is their most uh, well uh, their AZ skill setup, but they still got a lot of kill power with those up smashes, making sure the opponent doesn't get to land quite well. And just the characters with pretty much every of their move gets a lot of uh, a lot of damage, like the back airs and the. Uh, and, and yeah, airs. like when when, when uh, you get a combo like with uh, Doc Mario, for example, or you just get da down throw to, to like back air, or just yeah. uh, just back air in general. The move, the angle is so good that the Mario doesn't have yeah. any trouble following up on that and uh, doing other 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 uh, aerials yeah. to just combo off of that. Yeah. And I know that Mudkips and uh, Amy are going mostly for up throws, uh, follow ups from the uh, from Diddy. Usually up airs and back airs from yeah. uh, Gina Mudkips. Just, just going for safe damage, like, yeah, nonetheless. Exactly. Hey, damage is damage. So yeah, for sure. Y you just take it. I if you can get damage in doubles with uh, like with uh, while being relatively safe doing it, go for yeah. it. Like it's like uh, the good basic strategy in doubles is maximizing the damage.